Kelly Worthen was a very passionate about everything in life person. I was a registered massage therapist for 30 years. I was an advanced piano player for 32 years. Uh, performing, I also was into dance, fitness, and volunteer work at uh, the local soup kitchen. My friend and I decided we would take three months off and we would go to Thailand and Cambodia, Malaysia, and Vietnam. The first day we crossed the border into Vietnam that I took ill. I remember feeling um, like sort of a bizarre heaviness in my brain. It progressed where I couldn't stop vomiting and the fever was so high and I was hallucinating and I had diplopia and uh, so that's when uh, I was taken to hospital. And it was later diagnosed uh, through the CDC in Canada that uh, I had contracted Japanese encephalitis. I was in a medical induced coma for five days. It was a horrible feeling to wake up and feel no identity, like your entire sense of self, your history, um, and everything that made up that history was now gone. I had no memory of anything and I felt like um, a complete empty shell of myself. I had a great sadness when I had my two adult sons and I didn't know who they were. My biggest fear was that this would be the rest of my life. I um, pretty well lost everything. My home, my practice, my uh, being a musician, volunteer, like it was all gone. It was quite heavy. To be honest, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to be here. Sometimes I think out of complete brokenness is where you'll find your strength. So I started with neuro rehabilitation, physiotherapy to try and teach how to walk. I had a speech pathologist that helped me with learning how to speak, form words correctly, help with memory. So I'm still in recovery. I would go almost every day to the neurology rehab clinic. Now at four and a half years, I go once every two weeks. When I went to inquire about the Japanese encephalitis vaccine, I think one of the biggest parts that was missing was when they discussed with me, you know, all the different ways why I didn't need the vaccine. I really wish that they had offered up the information that uh, However, if you do get Japanese encephalitis, this is what your life may look like, you know, if you have a life. That information would have totally made me ask and, and to get the vaccine. My hopes for the future now is to put little goals in front of myself and to make them very special, to make everything like a gift my biggest hope, I think, right now is to take something that was quite tragic in my life and to um, use it as something that may educate people that are going in particular to Southeast Asia. And hopefully they will get vaccinated. I want my journey to be a positive tool that may prevent other people from ever going through what I went through.